<laughs> All right, we always talk about some of the stories everyone's talking about online. And of course, Cassidy today has to start with something that is eclipse related. Of course, because that's what we are all talking about. So that's what people want to know about. Now, as you can imagine, eclipse viewing glasses, they're going pretty fast. If you can't find an ISO certified pair, well, you can always make your own. Apparently, Pizza Hut has a do-it-yourself option. You'll need a pizza box, foil, scissors, tape, paper, and a pen. I can hear Rod Hill is very curious about this. So first, you cut the box in half, make a small hole, cover it with tin foil. After that, you'll poke a tiny pinhole in the foil, then grab the other half of the box, tape a piece of white paper to it, and apparently you're all set. Yeah. Once the eclipse is in totality, go outside, stand with the sun behind you, hold the foiled pizza box over the box with the paper, and it will project the sun onto the paper. Remember, the farther from the, the pinhole is from the screen, the bigger your image will be. And you can find all those instructions. You can watch it slowly so you can do it yourself on Pizza Hut's YouTube channel. Yeah, and it's not for looking through the pinhole at the sun. Right. It's, uh, <laughs> let's get that clear. Yeah, so don't do that. That, that doesn't up, protect you. Right, let the, uh, the sun shine through the pinhole and onto the back, and the farther away you hold the cardboard. I watched a different video about it today because I'm thinking about doing this. Yeah, I've heard. I mean, I talked to someone earlier at the Whizbang Bar when we were shooting there that said, I don't have glasses. I'm going to try to make something. The other thing people say is just watch it. Not, don't try to take pictures and, you know, I mean, watch it and enjoy it because you'll see planets and stars when it goes dark if you're in the path of totality. Mm -hmm. You'll see pictures of it later. Watch the sky. That's true. It that makes sense. Yeah, that's very true. And watch it on TV later. That watch too, the yeah. replays. <laughs> Next, an iconic Northwest brewery is opening a brand new spot. Red Hook is now moving its production area from Woodenville, Washington to the Capitol Hill neighborhood in Seattle. Red Hook and Widmer are part of the Craft Brew Alliance. And the Red Hook Brew Lab is an old in an old BMW car dealership. We've got two bars going on. We have a big horseshoe bar with, uh, with taps on both sides. We've got uh, a, a front patio and a back patio. Um, got, kind of, we've got some fire pits going in in the back with some Adirondack chairs. Those chairs look sweet. Okay. Red Hook will also introduce its new Washington Native Series, a rotating lineup of IPAs that will feature ingredients that are all Washington sourced. I'm sure some Oregon people will enjoy drinking those too. Now the folks who do this beer thing just all seem so happy, don't they? They've got right? great setups, really cool breweries, just great gathering places. Comfy They've chairs. Got free beer. And yes, that is probably beer. the key is the free yeah. beer. Thank you, Ron. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's probably a job you wouldn't want to quit if you're working at a brewery, but here's the next thing. Jimmy Fallon every week features a hashtag on his show. This time people shared funny reasons why they quit a job on The Tonight Show. So here, well not their job on The Tonight Show, but they showed them on The Tonight Show and here are some of the best responses. She says, my boss made me give him piggyback rides after we mopped the floors every night so there would be fewer footprints. <laughs> He said, my boss asked if I had a knife to open a box. I gave her one. I was later written up for having a knife at work. He says, I made a mistake at work, and my boss called me up to chew me out. At the end of my conversation, he made me say, I've been a bad boy. She says, instead of hitting the one key for the number of copies, I typed 1111 and couldn't make the printer stop. I left before they finished. <laughs> oh, no. That just got to quit. Just got to leave and get out of there. The full thing is definitely worth, worth watching. You can find it on The Tonight Show's YouTube channel. And then hopefully give yourself reason to love the job that you have, right? I love the one about the first one. Piggyback ride right, so you don't get extra footprints on the mop floor. How do you escape once you mop the floor if you've backed yourself into a corner? Oh, wow. Hey, by the way, the, the brightest object you're talking about, enjoy it, you know, the, mm -hmm. the eclipse. So at the moment of totality, the brightest object away from the eclipse itself is Venus this okay. time around. And oh. Venus is actually the, often the brightest object in the night sky for us. It's going to be, I just can't, I can't wait. It's going to be great. Oh, I know. One thing I'm going to be interested in, in doing as, as a meteorologist is I'm going to watch as many temperatures as I can during that entire path because the temps are supposed to drop 10 to as much as 15 degrees Ooh. in that two minute, two minute period of totality. So that's what I kind of want to And then does it watch. jump right back up? But yeah, yeah, it's really the temperature drops down when the clouds move in the same thing when they go away. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm interested to see how quickly it goes down, how quickly it goes back up. Cool. That's going to be my day of fun, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get rolling with the weather. <laughs>